hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about a quirky little new device from that little known brand here on the channel Synology. Today I want to talk about the Synology B drive, B E E, something that a lot of you including myself are probably going to be thinking of in the future as kind of a Synology USB NAS. This is an external drive that is designed to serve as an incredibly uncomplicated alternative to a NAS while at the same time serving as an, an extra layer to a workflow with a NAS as an alter and an alternative to a cloud. Synology continues to roll out an ever-evolving ecosystem of hardware and software across their entire platform and Arguably, there has always been something of a gap when it comes to users that are constantly on the go creating data on the fly, be it with mobile phones, uh, doing it with uh, portable MacBooks, tablets and stuff like that, and ultimately having that little exchange in the middle between their backups and those client hardware uh, devices there and this is what this is designed to serve as an uncomplicated alternative to a NAS or adding to an existing NAS while at the same time maintaining as simple as a, me a means of backing up that data from up to five devices as possible but there's going to be a lot of users that are going to look at the Synology B drive that I'm sure is on screen and just going What's the difference between it and external drives? It's the same thing. As soon as you're just trying to pull a switch here and just resell a rebadged external drive. Well, no. Although there are things about this device that I'm still unsure about, I will say on the whole, I actually think there is a market for this device. And once again, it's going to come down to not just the hardware when it comes to Synology you're going to be looking at the value of the software so first and foremost let's talk exactly what we know about this device right now that's arriving in June 2023 so we're right here on the cusp of it um and it's a very small 43 grams external SSD arriving in a 1 TB or 2 TB form knocking around at uh, between $119 and $199 a little bit arguably more expensive than a traditional external drive from the likes of SanDisk, WD, Seagate etc 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 um, now this is designed with USB 3.2 Gen 2 connectivity never thought I'd say that on a Synology um, so that's a 1000 megs external connection and you connect this device to a supported PC uh, the moment it doesn't look like mac direct connected support is available at the moment but it will be down the line now this is designed to be both powered by the device and exchange data with the device over that uh, usb type c connector at a uh, usb 3.2 gen 2 connectivity there now this has its own software on board the synology b software and on its directed connected point there it allows you to create a synchronized backup or one-way uh, backup if you choose um, from the connected PC over to the B drive. Indeed, you can connect it to multiple PCs. You can create customized um, file folder uh, uh, backup routines there that are managed by the software on the device. And on top of that, alongside uh, the localized connected backups there, it also has uh, network backups with any other device with the supported B app, be they mobile phones, of course, uh, iOS and Android and other devices um, that allow network backup onto that drive on the connected PC. Now, at the moment, it doesn't look like independent connectivity is possible. It looks like it does require the PC and therefore the network connection in order to get the job done. But at least at the moment, it means that you will have a drive connected to a local PC or hopefully down the line, looking at Synology's download section with a B app available in the slash download section of their website. No doubt an app for Synology NAS that allows you to connect the device to their own systems and allows you to have wireless backup directly onto this for a multitude of different devices. Now, obviously connecting it to the NAS seems a bit weird given the NAS is right there, but using it as a, an a exchange point with a connected PC does actually have some useful options to it. Notwithstanding, it allows cross-platform uh, communication of data in a far less complicated and heavy footprint way that a NAS does, but on top of that, each uh, the system supports up to five times file versions of all the files getting backed up to it. Something that's not too common with a lot of software that's included with external drives. A lot of external drives will arrive with things like Acronis or even first-party backup tools like Synology's um, Seagate tools and backup kit. But very few of them, and I really do mean very few of them, support network 
backups. That is connecting the device to that PC and allowing these not to connect with the wireless drive, something we've seen before with like uh, WD's wireless go range and stuff like that, but actually via the network send over to the drive. It may seem a little over convoluted for those of you that know what you're doing, but in terms of simplicity for a lot of users that don't want to have to muck around, this actually will have an appeal to a lot of those users. Now, um, that automated routine that you create will be incremental in terms of those backups there. So if it disconnects, once you reconnect it, it will just resume the backups as and when. And you can control a lot of the scheduling there within the software as well, in case you want it to be out of hours backups. Um, from the client side, the mobile devices, it should be seen not dissimilar to that of backing up on the cloud or utilizing like an airdrop system that we've already seen on the iOS side of things. Um, I will say that I think it's a real shame that the device itself doesn't have Wi-Fi built in. I kind of would have liked to have seen that, but again, early days, we'll have to wait and see. Um, on top of that, the software that includes um, not only has got that two-way synchronization and complete GUI to play with, that is incredibly comparable to that of some of the DSM uh, design structure there, but there's also logs and drive health built in there. Again, not exactly fantastic stuff, but when you're looking at choosing between an external drive anyway, that was SSD based and getting one here with the software that you can integrate into your Synology ecosystem, that a bit of extra cost might be desirable to some. I'm not going to say this device is for everyone. And those that are more technically knowledgeable about storage, and particularly network storage, are not going to be blown over by this. But I will say those that want uncomplicated backups for their series of different devices in their workflow are actually going to find this quite appealing. Now, it varies with a three-year manufacturer's warranty there. Um, there are, again, there's an a, um, application for Android and iOS, from what I understand. And, of course, there are download section apps rolling out as well. And, again, fully expect this to be available on the Synology NAS DSM relatively soon to create the kind of legacy cold storage images of those backups. I will say one thing that's a letdown is it looks like uh, traffic is not encrypted on this in terms of that wireless transmission there. Now, I might be wrong. If I am, I'll put an update there in the comments. But that seems like a bit of a misstep there overall to not have that encrypted transmission. It is local, so it's not as important, but it's still important, I think, for a lot of users out there. Um, and whether this will have uh, two-way synchronization with NAS for things like off-site uh, snapshot replication is another uh, debate to be had. Overall, I would say, as an external drive, if Synology were going down the road of having external drives as part of their ecosystem, because they already include lots of you know, storage media and hard drives or SSD, this isn't a terrible idea. And I think a lot of users, again, the one uncomplicated will like it. Ultimately, if you work and in to integrate an external backup into your backup routine, or you're already in the process of getting to your workstation and backing up onto a USB anyway, this is going to make a lot of sense integrating this into your workflow. And if the software does then move on to image level backups and then synchronizing those image level backups locally over a much, much faster local speed at a thousand megs, which can then synchronize in the background natively, that will be appealing. But I still think there are going to be users out there that know a lot more about networking and don't mind getting their hands dirty that will frown upon a device like this. I think it will be Definitely something that divides the technologyable from the tech noob moving forward. But this is everything we know about the Synology B drive arriving in June 2023. No doubt I am going to review one here on the channel because I think I like the idea of an external drive like this and I'm going to have to look at it with my novice goggles on. But what do you guys think? Look at it independently and look at it as someone who is a novice to storage and wants simplicity. Is this overcomplicating or not complicated enough? Let me know in the comments. But apart from that, thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Use the free advice section, the Discord and the free community support forum if you choose. And there should be an article over on NAS Compare shortly on this. But apart from that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.